My name is Inis Ngwawe. I'm the country director at Foundation for Health and Socioeconomic Development Africa, also known as SED Africa. Initiated in 2007 with headquarters in Nairobi, Kenya. We work with urban refugees as well as host community with a special focus on sexual and gender-based violence survivors. Our interventions focus on promoting access to quality healthcare services, sexual reproductive health rights, maternal and child health and nutrition, gender-based violence prevention and response, and provision of personal hygiene materials based on their practical gender needs. Gender mainstreaming requires us to include participation, coordination, prevention, and mitigation of gender-based violence for transformative and lasting change. In all our projects at Sessed Africa and our partners, we conduct participatory needs assessment at the beginning of projects, engage right holders, consult with county and sub-county authorities, and work within government policies and annual work plans. So in terms of coordination, that is linked to prevention, mitigation of gender-based violence. We work in close collaboration with community and government structures, the CSOs working in the, in the, in the location, community-based organizations, religious leaders, and institutions for community uh, advocacy, referrals, and linkages in matters of refugee needs, health, social protection, and legal matters. We engage with, in a GBV technical and monthly basis for linkages, referrals, information, and experience sharing. So in terms of transformative and lasting change, the SGBV survivors receive information, education, and practical skills, such as sewing, henna making, soap making, and food demonstrations. They also receive psychosocial and livelihood support for self-reliance, and such empowerment gives them the power to make financial and financial and household decisions. As we include the gender, perspective in our everyday work, uh, we face various challenges. And these challenges are such like existence of diverse cultural practices and gender norms among the people of concern, the urban refugees and sections of host communities uh, that put unequal expectations on masculinity and uh, femininity in the programs. Therefore, it requires us to engage in lobbying with their community and religious leadership and policymakers. On the other hand, it requires projects to have conversations with men, women, to demystify all the myths on these practices and the beliefs. There's also limited knowledge and capacity among the staff at various levels, at the community, the health centers, the schools, and within uh, the key stakeholders to apply gender transformative approaches in their work. We also have limited capacity in coordination of activities regarding health, and SGBV referral pathways and experience sharing among key stakeholders. Such would be the, the police, where we do the reports, local leaders, the schools, health centers, counseling and legal services for the survivors. There's also lack of inclusion of gender lens in planning, monitoring, implementation and provision of services to the urban refugees and sexual and gender-based violence survivors. Mm -hmm.